Hi everyone, Andrew from ActiveChat.ai here and in this short video we'll be talking about lead generation chatbots and sending data from your chatbot uh, to your CRM uh, with Zapier integration. We have a special template built for this when you click create new bot. You can check this template in tools section and it's called lead generation chatbot. As uh, with all other templates, you can use this Messenger preview button to check how this board works on Messenger. And we'll get back to this in a couple of moments. And for now, let's check the flows for this bot and see how it is built. As with all other bots, you have two basic skills, start and default. The start skill will be triggered each time the user starts communicating to your chatbot for the very first time and default skill will be triggered when the user is sending any message to your chatbot. You can use this as a standalone bot or you can uh, connect it to your Facebook ads to get leads for your uh, ad campaigns. We have a special manual on uh, using Facebook ads with chatbots uh, uh, in our manual section on the website. And for now I will suppose that uh, you use a simple start skill uh, to get the lead data immediately and send it to your CRM with Zapier. First of all, let's see how this chatbot works on Messenger. When you click Get Started, the bot is welcoming you with a welcome message. Hi, I am bot name here and I'll be happy to help you get access to your offer name here. And then immediately asks for user's email address. May I have your email address, please? Offering quick reply with preset email address for this user. Let's uh, imagine that the user types something that is not a valid email address. In this case, a uh, bot will uh, fall back and uh, tell the user that sorry, that doesn't look like a valid email, please share your address to get access. The user can click this quick reply or type another email address to share with the chatbot. Then comes another question from the chatbot asking the user to share his or her phone number. Again, uh, we are using quick replies uh, for sharing phone number here and the user can click this quick reply to share the phone number. And finally, one last question from the chatbot. What's your primary objective to get your offer name here? And uh, this can be useful uh, to segment your leads uh, further and uh, maybe ask some questions and we'll see how it is made in the chatbot in a couple of moments. For now, I'm selecting Objective 1 and the bot is uh, sending data to uh, Zapier and uh, sending uh, the user a link to get your offer here. Let's see first how it's done in the start and default skills. For the start skill, we're sending user this welcome message, then asking for user's email address and then using the listen block, saving user input to user email bot variable and adding this uh, quick reply to share a user's email. Then we check with the switch block if a user email value contains email symbol and dot symbol. If it doesn't, we send this message, sorry that doesn't look like a valid email address, and redirect user back to listen block. If uh, the email seems to be valid, we thank user for sharing the email and then ask another question, may I have your phone number please? And again, using listen block with a quick reply to share the phone number from the user. And then sending confirmation, many thanks. Then last third question, what's your primary objective to get your offer name here? And again, we're offering a couple of quick replies, objective one, objective two, objective three, and save the value to user objective bot variable. And finally, we are sending this data to Zapier with this uh, JSON block, and I will get back to this in a moment. After the data is sent to Zapier, we use this text block to uh, thank user and uh, send him a link to get your offer as URL button. Now let's get uh, to Zapier and see how the Zap is made. We start uh, with the catch hook trigger, and it is web hooks by Zapier. We are catching hook. And all you have to do to customize this for your own Zapier account is uh, go to this view webhook, copy this address to your clipboard, and then go back to the bot and paste this address in uh, the settings for JSON block here. Don't forget to select post method here, and you can send any data that you would like to to your Zap. 
Here I am sending first name, last name, user email, user phone, user objective, these uh, uh, values we get from user replies. And I'm also adding user ID, messenger ID for that user, and user locale, to know the language that the user is speaking. When you have this uh, webhook set up, you can test this step and uh, trigger uh, the conversation in the bot to send a hook to Zapier. If I check the values that I receive from the webhook, you can see that uh, first name, last name, user ID, user phone, user locale, user objective and user email are set up uh, from the values that I got uh, in the chatbot. Let's do one more test. I'm clicking get more samples. And Zapier is now waiting for another hook. You can see uh, it catches that data that I have sent from my uh, new account. Now to send that data to your CRM of choice, uh, you use another action step. And uh, for this example, I am using active campaign integration and uh, create update contact action. I'm connecting to my active campaign account and the template that I use is quite simple. I select this list, active chat lead generation bot template list and then I pass some values to uh, Active Campaign from Zapier. I use email address from step one, first name and last name from step one, phone number from step one, and also I add some uh, more values like lead objective, locale, and the Facebook ID for that user. I have set up a special automation in Active Campaign to test how this works. And uh, the automation is quite simple. It starts when contact subscribes to list active chat lead generation bot template, and you can use any list here. And uh, all that this automation does is sending this welcome email, sending back the data that user provided. Full name that contains first name and last name, messenger ID, messenger locale, email, phone, and objective that uh, was sent by the user to the chatbot. When I check my mailbox, I can see that the data was sent to Active Campaign, and uh, here is the data that uh, I sent uh, to this chatbot. Full name, messenger ID, messenger locale, email, phone number, and objective that I sent. And if I check the list that uh, the information was supposed to be sent to in Active Campaign, and the list name is Active Chat Lead Generation Board Template. I can see that uh, my contact is sitting there with the email ask at activechat.ai and also I can see that the values like lead objective, Facebook locale and Facebook ID and phone number were sent successfully to this uh, active campaign account. What happens when user is sending a message to this chatbot? We have another skill for this and it's called default skill. The default event is triggered every time the user is sending a message to your chatbot and this chatbot uh, doesn't uh, have any replies. All that uh, the chatbot does, let's try this in the messenger. The chatbot is uh, sending a default reply, sorry I didn't get it, would you like me to forward your question to admins? and uh, offer the button forward please. Let's see how it's done in the default skill. This is a text block, sorry I didn't get it, would you like me to forward your question to admins and uh, a button forward please that leads us to another uh, flow in the bot. The bot sends confirmation, sure, and then uh, the bot is checking if we uh, already have values for user email and user phone. Maybe it was sent already on the start step. If we do have uh, these variables, uh, then we send uh, email to bot admins. And if we do not have these variables set, we are checking if user email equals to undefined or zero or empty string. Then we go to a, a sub uh, flow that is asking for user email, validating the email, and then uh, sending it back to the next switch to check if we have phone number. When we are checking phone number, we do the same check. Uh, uh, we are checking if user phone variable is equal to undefined or to zero or to empty string. If it does, then uh, we are asking the user to share his or her phone number and uh, then we are using email block to send this question to uh, the bot admin. Don't forget to edit this block and uh, replace ask at activechat.ai with your own email address. 
Let's click this forward please button in the bot. And you can see that uh, the bot is not asking for email or phone number since it was entered uh, previously. And when I check uh, my mailbox, I can see that uh, this question, can you help me, was forwarded to me as a bot admin to the email address ask at activechat.ai. Let's see the template that we use for this. And uh, it is in the email block. And we're using this template lead, first name, last name, and uh, messenger ID, email, phone number, and question that was uh, asked by the user. We use last user input variable uh, to forward this question. And I would like to remind you that the uh, last user input variable uh, contains the message that was sent to the user when default event was triggered. So for a quick recap, uh, this chatbot template, the lead generation bot template, demonstrates how to use two basic methods of sending lead data to your CRM or to your email. The start skill is sending data to your CRM with a Zapier. And the default skill is sending lead data to your email address with email block. Hope that helps and don't forget to reach out with your questions to our Facebook community or to a live chat in the application. Just click this live chat icon in the bottom right corner and our support staff will be ready to help. Enjoy and see you soon!